Hello, engineers. Good morning. In response to the inquiry about uh, the phase uh, measurement angle, uh, the phase angle measurement for uh, the CMC356 using the analyzer classic uh, module, here is the recording. So uh, first of all, we will open the uh, quick uh, CMC, as you can see, and then you can adjust the nominal uh, current and the nominal voltage to be injected by the CMC356, and uh, we will use the uh, shunt resistor uh, for uh, the analog uh, measurement for the current, and uh, we will measure the voltage directly through the binary input, okay? So uh, we can keep it uh, nominal value right now. The most important thing is uh, the hardware configuration. Please make sure to configure the clamp ratio and the nominal range uh, as requested and as per the shunt resistor value. I will show you now uh, how to uh, adjust it using the hardware configuration. Okay, here is the hardware configuration. So we are connecting with the CMC356 for uh, channel of voltage and three channel of current. Okay, here is analog output. Here is the most important part for the analog uh, input. As you can see now, we have, just because I'm not clearing the result, so I will clear the result first and I will uh, show you. So here is the hardware configuration as explained. So the first three input we are uh, I'm configured to measure the voltage directly up to uh, 100 voltage and make sure to choose the, the nominal range to be higher than the expected value uh, or the measurement value. So if I am willing to uh, measure 66, 66 voltage, so the first range, the smallest range uh, higher than this value is the 100 uh, voltage, okay? And also for channel two and uh, binary input number uh, three. Regarding the current, as mentioned yesterday, so I will use uh, number five for uh, IA, number uh, seven for IP, and number nine for IC, so it's not in the same uh, pair. And I will choose the current. Then I have two uh, settings here. First one is the nominal range, and second one is the clamp ratio. So if you are using shunt resistor one milliohm, you have to adjust here the clamp ratio to be one millivolt per ampere, okay? So the clamp ratio uh, is one millivolt per ampere, which is corresponds to shunt resistor one milliohm. But if I am using, for example, in the IC, I am using the 10 milliohm. So the clamp ratio will be, in this case, 10 millivolt per uh, ampere, okay? And regarding the nominal range, make sure this nominal range should be higher than the most expect or the maximum expected uh, current can be measured. So uh, in the range, uh, we have here a range for the uh, C shunt uh, 1 milliohm. So the maximum current can be measured is 32 ampere. So I will make it 100 uh, millivolt, which means uh, the input can measure now up to 100 ampere, but during to the limitation of the shunt resistor, so it will measure only uh, up to uh, 32 ampere. Okay. And I will put it here also the same nominal range in IP and IC. So here is the clamp ratio different because in IA and IP I am using one milliohm, and in IC I am using a, a 10 milliohm shunt uh, resistor. Okay, so uh, here is the uh, most important part. Then I will inject. Before injecting, I will show you also the uh, setting of uh, the analyzer uh, classic. Okay, so here is the analyzer classic. If you double uh, the multimeter uh, configuration, you can see here is a reference uh, channel to be uh, V1, which means the uh, voltage uh, for phase A, and also for uh, frequency 2 uh, or F2, also I will use the same uh, channel. So this is, uh, will help you to measure the phase angle for the all other phases of voltage and current, and also will, will help you to measure the uh, nominal uh, frequency, which is supposed to be 50 uh, hertz. Okay. And here is the uh, connection, so binary input 1 for V1, input 2 for V2, binary input 3 for V3, and 5, 7, 9 for the three-phase uh, current uh, measurement. Okay, so if you click here the input configuration, you can see uh, one by one, for example, the V1 here. It will be indicated here to measure uh, the voltage V1, as you can see, and here is the range which we adjust in the hardware configuration of the quick uh, CMC, which is 100 uh, voltage. Okay, the same for V2 and V3. IA here, if you double click, you can see the input 5 configuration to measure the current, and we we rename this uh, channel in the hardware configuration to be IA. And here is the clamp ratio, it should be the same, 1 millivolt per uh, ampere. And as you can see, here is a uh, 100 ampere, which is a, a minimum uh, range, which uh, higher than the uh, maximum expected uh, current measurement. Okay, so uh, 100 ampere now it's okay. The same for IP and the same for IC, but IC we have different uh, setting for the uh, clamp ratio because I'm using here the 10 millivolt per ampere because the shunt resistor uh, value is 10 milli. And that means uh, we can we have a smallest range which is uh, 10 uh, ampere. You can adjust it. Okay. So here is the difference between IA and IP and the IC because of the shunt resistor uh, value. Then you can uh, click uh, OK. 
you will see uh, right now here is a v1 v2 v3 ia ip ic in current and uh, phase angle measurement and here is the frequency uh, measurement uh, in respect to the reference channel of uh, v1 so here is the weak signal as you can see here is the weak signal error because i'm not injecting anything now in the off uh, line so i will inject using the uh, quick cmc module i will inject the nominal uh, value and here is the analyzer classic as you can see now the v1 is 66.4 with angle 0 v2 is 66.406 with angle uh, minus 120 v3 is uh, 66.4 with angle uh, 120 okay but here is the current as you can see only the uh, ic is uh, can be measured the phase angle which is 119.9 uh, okay but why why we can uh, see only the ic phase angle but the ib and the ic uh, cannot be uh, measured right now because in the uh, uh, you have to inject uh, more than two percentage of the maximum expected current so for the ia and the ib i'm using the clamp ratio one millivolt per ampere which means and the range is 100 millivolt this is the minimum uh, range so uh, the range is uh, in current is equal to 100 ampere so if i need to inject if i need to measure the phase angle of uh, the current channel i need to inject more than two percentage from uh, this uh, maximum range so so which means in secondary values i need to inject more than two ampere if i have uh, the nominal range equal to uh, 100 uh, ampere so as you can see here if i put uh, this uh, channel to be 1.99 as you can see here it's 1.96 but it's uh, it's less than two percentage from the uh, maximum range less than two ampere so i will try to put it uh, uh, 2.1 and you can see the difference now in the phase angle measurement it will uh, this weak error will be gone as you can see no there is no any weak signal here because it's more than two percentage from the uh, nominal uh, range so it's the uh, value is 2.07 and the angle is uh, zero almost uh, zero i will do the same also for the ib because i'm using the same uh, shunt uh, resistor now you can see the weak signal is gone okay there's no any uh, weak signal error and here is the angle minus 120 and that's what i mentioned yesterday in the uh, whatsapp uh, by whatsapp message i mentioned to inject higher current more than two percentage from the uh, from the nominal uh, range which is 100 ampere so for the ic i'm injecting one ampere which is um, 10 percentage from the maximum current can be uh, checked as you as we said as we see in the as we saw in the ic configuration which is 10 ampere so if i am if i am putting this uh, 0.19 which is less than two percentage from the maximum uh, range you can see the difference now the angle now is not showing and here is the weak signal error icon on the left okay which means i need to inject more than 200 milliampere which is two percentage from the 10 ampere okay so i will make it uh, uh, 210 uh, milliamp uh, and you can see the difference in the current measurement uh, phase angle so as you can see if it's, if it's exceeding the two percentage from the nominal uh, range it will give you the nominal uh, it will give you the phase angle measurement and the weak signal error will be uh, resetted okay but uh, how you can uh, check uh, this two percentage uh, difference if you open the uh, analyzer manual as you can see here in page number uh, 21 for phase measurement it's considered to be uh, a weak signal if uh, either the channel is measured or the reference uh, channel has an input signal to two percentage of the input uh, range so here is the two uh, percentage uh, reference value uh, from uh, the analyzer uh, manual page number uh, 21 so uh, i hope uh, everything is clear uh, in the video and if you need any more uh, help or support please don't hesitate to uh, reach out or drop a message in the uh, whatsapp uh, group and thank you everyone hello engineer as we mentioned in the last video we used the uh, c-shunt 1 milli ohm and c-shunt 10 milli ohm and we saw the difference uh, between both of them and the 10 milli ohm for sure it can be used for better accuracy but for uh, lower current amplitude uh, measurement up to 12.5 uh, amp but if you need uh, to uh, better accuracy you can use the 10 milli ohm if you need high current measurement up to 32 amp you can use the 1 milli ohm uh, shunt resistor here's another solution i will show you uh, now about the uh, c-probe uh, current clamp we have a c-probe current clamp and as you can see uh, uh, we have different also uh, clamp ratios in the uh, clamp uh, meter so we have uh, 10 millivolt per ampere uh, which uh, equivalent to uh, 10 milli ohm shunt resistor and we have a better accuracy or higher accuracy range which is 100 millivolt per uh, ampere so i will uh, show you what is the difference uh, between uh, both of them so i will use the uh, il2 by uh, c shunt 1 milli ohm and in the same uh, way i will use it also with the c probe uh, current clamp with 100 millivolt per uh, ampere let me show you uh, what is the difference in the uh, hardware uh, configuration.
Here is in the hardware configuration by input number five. Now I am using the uh, current clamp, and I adjust the clamp ratio to be 100 millivolt per ampere, which is really uh, high accuracy. And the nominal range in our case will be higher than uh, this uh, 100 millivolt, which means it will be uh, one uh, volt. Okay, so here is the uh, difference for binary input number uh, five simulating the clamp meter uh, phase angles, and binary input number seven simulating the shunt resistor one milli ohm. Okay, I will inject the same uh, values. You can see now the measurement in the analyzer uh, classic module. I'm injecting only in the phase P 210 milli ampere. So it can be measured by the current clamp with the angle minus 120, but it cannot be measured by the C shunt 1 milli ohm. And as you can see, we have here the weak uh, signal uh, error uh, icon. Okay, so uh, it's, it's very suitable if you need to inject uh, lower uh, currents to use the C probe uh, current clamp or to use the C shunt 10 milli uh, ohm. So as you can see, uh, 210 milli ampere is enough for the clamp meter uh, phase angle measurement. We can make it one ampere. So uh, one ampere, uh, here is the measurement in the analyzer classic. As you can see, here is the clamp ratio still uh, running and still detecting the phase angle measurement, but the C shunt have the same uh, weak signal. For 1.9, would be the same uh, current measurement, as you can see. But if we're using the uh, 2.10, now both of them will indicate the phase angle because we exceed the two percentage uh, of the nominal range, which is 100 ampere. So two percentage is equal to uh, two ampere. So uh, the C shunt, which uh, one milli ohm, uh, can be able to measure the phase angle in our case, and there is no any weak signal uh, right here. So uh, thank you, everyone. And if you need any more uh, questions or uh, if you need any more support, please uh, feel free to reach out. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, uh, in this video we will explain the use case of the CMC500 usage variant with the same application to uh, check the uh, current and voltage measurement using the analyzer uh, module. So as you can see here, we are using the same uh, quick CMC module for three phase uh, voltage and three phase uh, current. And uh, the difference here, I will give you an overview about the uh, differences between CMC500 and 356 in terms of the hardware uh, configuration. So here you have to select the CMC500, we have usage uh, variant and four phase of voltage and three phase of current. So here is the analog output configuration. And in terms of the binary and analog inputs, as you can see from one to six, it's equipped because we are using uh, the six binary input, or the six analog input in the uh, analyzer uh, module, and I will show you uh, right now. So uh, from the test universe uh, start page, as you can see, we have two analyzer module. One of them is the analyzer classic, which you can uh, see it uh, can be used for the CMC256 plus and 356, uh, which means it can be used for the legacy uh, CMC. But for uh, the CMC500 and the CMC430, uh, uh, you can use the analyzer uh, module. OK, so I will open the analyzer module, as you can see in our uh, screen. Here is the analyzer module. You can select the uh, test set. So I am selecting uh, the CMC500 USH variant, which is connected through the USB. As you can see, it's online. Then you have to adjust the uh, analog inputs from 1 to uh, 6. So I'm using the three. Uh, uh, the three binary inputs, the first three binary inputs for voltage measurement, as you can see, here is the configuration of the uh, binary input num uh, analog input number one and two and three. And here is the maximum range I choose uh, 100 uh, voltage. And uh, this uh, field here to apply uh, this setting for all the signals of the voltage uh, system. So once you select this uh, field, uh, this tick, you will apply this setting for the three uh, analog input for voltage measurement. And the binary input number four, I'm using the uh, C shunt with one milli ohm. And the range is uh, 100 millivolt. And here is the one difference here because we have the range of 10 millivolt, which is not available in the analyzer classic module with the CMC356. So I will keep it to 100 millivolt just to give you overview uh, and what is the difference between uh, the legacy and the new benchmark in the protection uh, field. So I will keep it uh, as it is. We have also another option here to use uh, the uh, clamp. And here also you have to define the uh, clamp uh, ratio and the nominal range to be uh, measured. Binary input number five here, as you can see, there is no need to uh, segregate uh, from different pairs because uh, in the CMC500, each one is having uh, individual potential uh, groups, each binary input or each analog input. So there is no uh, meaning to uh, segregate uh, uh, the analog input 579 as we did in the CMC356. Just you can uh, select every one with a different uh, potential uh, groups and they can be used individually. Okay, for the binary input number five for IL2 measurement, I'm using the shunt with one milli ohm and the range is 100 milli volt. For binary input number, uh, uh, analog input number six, I'm using for the IL3 current measurement with shunt resistor 10 milli ohm, and I'm using the 10 milli volt uh, nominal uh, range. 
okay then this is the uh, first step of the analog uh, configuration analog input configuration then you have to go to the move meter uh, mode and you can add the current as you can see from here you can add the current in this uh, field and you can select the multimeter uh, mode okay and here is the phase which you can see the uh, phase angle measurement with the magnitude of voltage and uh, current then i will go for the uh, quick cmc and start to inject this uh, values so we can inject the nominal values in the beginning there is no need to uh, exceed the two percentage of the nominal range as we explained in the cmc uh, 356 so i will uh, inject the nominal values of voltage and the current and you can see in the analyzer module here is the uh, measurement and with the angle 0 minus 120 and uh, 120 okay so uh, i will get back to the quick cmc module and i will change uh, this value i will decrease the current injection to be 0.5 for all uh, phases and here you can see the phase of measurement phase angle measurement for current il1 il2 il3 it's 0 minus 118 uh, and 125 which is almost uh, the same uh, values also, you can decrease it up to uh, like uh, 50 milliampere. You can see here the accuracy, the high accuracy of the CMC 500 with the new analyzer uh, module compared to the uh, CMC 356 with the analyzer classic uh, module. So here the angle is still uh, the same. You can also inject like uh, 30 milliamp. And here the angle is still available, and there is no any weak signal uh, error, which uh, happened in the analyzer classic module. If you inject less than two percentage of the uh, nominal uh, range, and here is the main benefit and the main, and the main use case for the same application using the CMC 500, the new benchmark in the testing field, and uh, the analyzer uh, module. Thank you.